D-type flip-flops are maybe the silliest sounding term in computer science. Flip-flops are a thing in computer science. They are circuits that can hold one bit only. And one flip-flop on its own is not very helpful. But if you've got millions together, you can form something like RAM, which can hold lots of binary data. There are a few types of flip-flops. The one you've got to know about is called a D-type flip-flop. We've got two inputs, D, which is your data, and the clock is also an input. The clock just produces a really steady signal which alternates between zero and one. And this type of flip-flop is unique in the sense that Q, which is what it's storing, only changes when the clock is rising. So when it's going from zero to one. So let's say right at the start of this process, we're trying to save one to this flip-flop. So D is one. But the clock is zero currently, and because the clock is zero, nothing's happening to Q, which is what's being stored. However, as soon as that clock becomes one, that edge rises, suddenly, Q takes on a value of D. And the bottom output is not Q. Not really important, but it just does the opposite of what Q is. So this is a memory unit. So if D stops being sent, it will retain its value. So Q will just stay there until something changes. Now let's say we want to now change the flip-flop to now be storing zero. Well, we put zero down the data input and we wait for the clock edge to rise. Once the clock edge rises from zero to one, we can then change the output. So Q is now zero, not Q is now one. 